Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to build um, a salt cell um, battery today. Um, I've been um, building a few of these with my earth batteries, so I'm um, just going to go through the build process and um, explain how it all works. The um, thing I've found about salt's got a few more amps than um, a milliamps, sorry, than earth, and um, I think it might come in handy in future projects. So basically, all we need is some um, table salt, just your regular off-the-shelf table salt. Um, a piece of vinyl, this will finish off the battery later, we wrap it around and it holds everything together. And the main part of the build is you need to find yourself some plastic tubing. I've, I've found some acrylic and acrylic pipe which I've cut down to 6mm cells. Um, 6 mil cells uh, works out pretty good because if you build them up, pack them later, they will... Um, equal to the length of a, a double-A battery which means that you can use it in um, some devices around the house to try your salt cell batteries so basically here's the tube cut down um, the yellow you're seeing there is the double-sided tape which I've put on there and cut around and these will hold the brass these brass discs and aluminium discs which will be your um, negative and your positive so the brass discs play the um, positive part and the aluminium play the negative part. If you don't find any of these, you can use silver coins and copper coins. And they'll make just um, okay, stage one. the same effect. We grab some of the um, pipe that we've cut down and we peel one of the um, adhesive layers of double-sided tape and we stick the brass disc at the bottom. Okay, we don't stick anything on the top just yet, and we just place them like that, and they're waiting to be filled with salt. Okay, so they're quite small, as you can see there, they're very tiny, but um, when we pile a few of these up on top of each other, um, yeah, they'll be the size of a AA battery, and uh, yeah, we can use, we can try them in at home on some devices and see what they can power up. Okay, so... I've got a few of these, which I've done. And they're all the same. Okay. Now the only thing we have to do is just fill them with salt. And um, just have to be careful here. making a bit of a mess. We have to clean up. Just fill them up with salt. Okay. That's them filled up. Now just remove the excess. I'm just going to put the camera down and um, I'll remove and clean these off and then we'll go to the next stage. Okay guys, now there's the um, salt cells with the salt in them. Now I'm about to, I've got a syringe here just filled with um, water just out of the tap. And I'm just going to add a few drops of water. Just enough to activate the solution of salt. Just drop a few drops until you see it just about to overflow to the top. Okay. like that. So that's the salt solution just being activated. And now we'll go to the next stage which is putting on the negative okay. aluminium discs. Now at, we're at the stage of putting the um, aluminium discs on the top. So this is the easy part. Just putting the, um, the discs just like that. And just pressing them down on the adhesive. And there you go, that's your 
salt cell right there. Mm. Okay, just give it a bit of a shake, just so the water mixes up with the salt. That's your um, first salt cell. And now I'm just going to do the same. All the others. And then by doing this process, we'll be able to stack them on top of each other. And just press all those down, making sure that they're stuck on and there is all our salt cells now the idea is to pile these up like that and um, we'll build a battery and that'll be um, the same height as a double A battery. So I'll just uh, show you that. Just one second. So salt cell battery and double A battery. As you can see, that's the size. And now we're going to stick these together and put a meter on this battery and see what volts we get out of our salt battery and how much amps we get out of our salt battery. Okay, okay guys, now just before we put the battery together, I just wanna show you how much um, milliamps we're getting out of just one of these salt cells. So we've got the um, meter set here to read milliamps and here's our little salt cell. So I'm going to try and hold this and show you the readings. Okay. There you go. There's the milliamps. Two milliamps. One salt cell. Okay. And as you can see, it goes up and down between. Just check to hold that. goes up and down between 2 milliamps and 1 milliamp which is not a lot but I mean it, it is just one cell once we put these together and pile them on top of each other we should get um, you know some decent power just to light up a, a LED and maybe run some other small stuff so there you go one salt cell and um, yeah 2 milliamps Okay guys, um, we're up to the final stage um, basically this is where you need your vinyl which I've already peeled off the um, backing. So basically you just pile the cells up like this which um, basically you've got your negative and then your positive then you back the other one, you stack the other one on top or side by side so you've got uh, um, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative and positive to negative so you finish off with the brass on top and the aluminium at the bottom and basically this will be about the same length as a double-a battery but it's just powered up with salt and water so I'm going to now just roll this vinyl it nice and neat and basically you'll end up with something that looks like that that's your battery there and um, so you've got your positive gold side up and negative I'm just going to tidy this up now and then um, we're going to put a meter on it and see what we get. Okay, here's the um, final result 
that's our salt battery and we're gonna put it on the meter now okay so we've got And there we go. Two point three volts. Not bad from a salt double A battery. So I'll just show see if you can see that reading again. Two point two volts from our salt battery. Now just to compare it, we've got a double A battery here. Okay. Sorry about this. Okay. Bit tricky, but basically the um, alkaline battery coming in at 1.6 volts and the salt battery that we've made. right and there's the salt battery again just dropped down to 1.6 it does vary um, I've got my fingers there on the connection so that's probably throwing it out a little bit I'll just show you that again from this angle if I just don't put any hand contact. One point nine. So it's definitely rating higher than the double A. There you go, two two volts there. Okay. Now we're gonna do the test with the jewel thief. I'll just set that up and um, we'll test it out with the jewel thief. Okay, now here's um, my test rig. This is my Jewel Thief I made with an LED on there. First, we're going to test it with the alkaline battery. Okay, there's the um, alkaline battery there Oop. just got to get this connection right so there you go alkaline battery with jewel thief and now for the salt battery here's the salt battery we made Okay, now make sure we get the connections right. And there's the salt battery, working just as good as the alkaline. Isn't that amazing? It's powered from just salt and water running through the jewel thief. And um, yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed this experiment, please place your comments and your suggestions and we'll um, take this further, like the earth batteries. So yeah, salt battery, alkaline battery, you choose.